Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Flowwise once again, as I'm going to showcase the new way to actually install Flowwise locally on your desktop. Now, for the people who do not know, Flowwise is an amazing open source project that offers a powerful platform for building large language model applications that are low code and it is basically efficient to install in your own workflow. Now, you can actually access this project on flowwiseai.com but you're not able to actually launch it on the cloud at this current moment but it, that is something that is currently in the works so keep an eye out for that but basically flowwise provides users with a drag and drop user interface which makes it incredibly convenient to construct custom llm flows now i made a video on this a couple weeks or a couple months back now and i talked a little bit more in depth as to what you can do with flowwise i even showcased some of the cool things that i built using flowwise so if you want to get a better idea as to how you can actually do it i highly recommend that you check this video out in today's video we're actually just going to take a look at how you can install it now for the people who don't know to know the primary focus of Flowwise is to basically simplify the process of creating any type of large language model application on the web front. Now this is for people who do not have the right coding knowledge or do not want to actually take the step to code everything to install their own large language model application. As you're able to use this low code or this no code technique to leverage the capabilities of large language models that is built upon Flowwise AI to create it. Now these applications can perform a wide range of tasks such as like natural language processing, you have sentiment analysis, text generation, language translation, and so much more. The, if, if you want a better idea as to some of the applications that are out there that you can actually build with Flowwise, definitely check this video out so you can get a better idea. Now one of the most important features of Flowwise is it's that it's completely free and you're able to build things for both personal and commercial use. So this means that individuals and even businesses can harness the power of large language model technology with Flowwise. Now, this is something that is amazing as you can basically have it chained to different large language models, have a Q&A retrieval chain set up, a language chain set up. You have conversation agents that have memory saved. And this is just a quick example that showcases you how it actually works. You can see that they are setting up different tools that are being connected with different APIs, such as you have the SERP API key being connected and you have the OpenAI API key connected. And then once you click this box, you're able to start chatting and start utilizing the different LLM applications that you just created. And you can basically chat with it. And this is something that I'm going to showcase in today's video as you will get a better understanding as to what you can do with this in your local desktop. So with that thought, guys, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on Twitter, search up World of AI and give this a follow. Now, I'll leave this link in the description below. I'm going to make sure that I post the latest AI news over here so you can stay up to date. So make sure you give this a follow. If you guys haven't, I'll leave the Flowwise AI video in the description as well. And if you guys are unsubscribed, please do so, guys. It would mean the whole world to me. I would really, really appreciate it. Turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, let's get right into the video. So first things first, you're going to need an API key that is linked to a billing system so that you can actually utilize APIs from OpenAI. Now, secondly, you're going to need Git, and this is going to be used to help clone the actual repository onto your desktop. And lastly, you'll need Python as your code editor. So once you have all these three things ready, you can then go back onto the GitHub repo and scroll up a little bit. Click on this green button, copy this link, scroll down again to the installation start prompt area, open up command prompt. Then you can type in git clone, paste the link, click enter. Now, before I move on anywhere else, I just want to explain there's a couple ways to actually install this. You can utilize Docker, which is also fairly easy to install. Uh, you can also have developers start it up, which could be used to install different dependencies and build upon the actual Flowwise application. So if you want to do that, you can also do that. 
And there's also ways to host this on different ways. You can self-host this with Railway as well as Render. And they're actually working on a cloud-hosted application in which it will be ran on their actual website. So this is just something that you want to keep in mind before you move forward. But in this case, once you have the, in the, the actual files cloned onto your desktop, you can then type in CD Flowwise. And once that is done, click enter. And then now what you want to do is copy this command right here and paste it into the command prompt. Now we'll start installing and unpacking the dependencies. So once that is done, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So once it is finished, you can now start Flowwise onto your local host. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, you can also set it with the username and password. You can set it whatever you want. So you can copy and paste this. In my case, I don't really need a username, but I'm just going to start it up and have it launched onto my local host. Now, it might just open up your local host link right away, but in this case, I'm just gonna open it up while it starts up. Now, this might take a couple of seconds, so once it, read, it, once it is ready, I'll be right back. All right, it looks like it is ready. So I already talked a little bit more about the user interface previously. You have a marketplace, you have different tools that you can use, and you can have the API keys that you can set. Now. In terms of the marketplace, you have different types of things that you can already set up. You have an API agent right here, a conversational agent yet you can set up, an auto GPT agent, a baby AGI application agent, and many different things that you can also build on. Now, in my case, I'm just gonna turn it to black because it's way more appealing. You have a local, you can load a database and you can export a database. So if you wanna load something, you can open it up in a file or a download. And if you wanna export something, you can select something and download it now in this case i don't know what it downloaded uh because i didn't have anything in my workflow now in this case i'm just going to create a chat now i'm going to create something and i'll be right back so guys i actually just created a conversation but it is fairly easy uh in terms of the buffer memory this is going to be used to buffer the outputs and the inputs now i have this ready so i can title it later if i wanted to and if i want to add on you can basically add certain types of agents to help so in this case if i want to add on a ton of auto gpt agent i can do so over here and it will help me with different tasks but in this case i'm just creating a conversation chat bot so i just op input my open ai api key over here now one thing that is fairly cool is that you can integrate different large language models so if you want to Im implement the Azure open ai key over here or cohere hugging face interface as well as replicate so you can implement different large language models that could be used to help you find and search with different types of data so if you want to do that you should definitely do so by adding the different lms now in this case i'm just going to utilize this and you can start by clicking on the chat, which is over here. And this is where you can actually start chatting with your actual bot. One thing to note is that you need to click save before you start chatting. And then now you can start chatting. And a cool thing is that you can now duplicate this cash, uh, chat flow. You can load the, a different type of chat flow and you can export this so that you can actually utilize it and implement it in different types of workflows. So this is quite remarkable as you're able to build a large language model application in like a couple of seconds. You can then change whatever you want in the actual JSON file and input different things that you want to do so that you can implement it in a different type of workflow. Now you can also tweak around with additional parameters. You can tweak the frequency. You can also change the max amount of tokens you want to utilize per generation. And there's different things that you can play around with. You can have a system message set up as well as a human message so that you can basically tweak and save how different things are worked upon with this actual chatbot. Now guys, one thing I want to note is that you can also input different types of tools. And this is quite useful for a lot of different things because you can even have a Discord bot set up for your server. If you have a business set up, you can implement a Discord like Flowwise LLM application within that Discord bot. You can also have it send Slack messages, add a HubSpot contact, you can create an Airtable record. Uh, you can send team messages and this could be utilized for 
a lot of companies so think about it this way if you're an agency you can implement some of these things so that you can like basically help these agencies grow their outreach or even help them perform effective like workflow activities so this is one thing that is quite useful if you just click on this you can like basically set up the code as well as what you want the tool to do with this and then you can use this template to start implementing it in your different workflows now one of the cool things is that you can also do things with different api agents so you can utilize it showcases what you want to what you'll need to utilize the actual marketplace uh chat flow so if you want uh prompt channeling or chaining sorry you will need an open ai key api key you will need a database and i don't know what the last one is i believe oh an lm chain so you'll need all of these to be utilizing this actual template so this is fairly easy and it shows some of the true like capabilities of what you can actually do with each one so you can even implement your own chat flow add a new one you can start creating from the scratch you can add different things and play around with it so that it could be something that is able to do a lot of things for your own specific needs so you can even create something that is quite like like very complex and you can utilize many different things to even do it so this is one of the main important things that you can actually do to help create different large language model apps within a couple of seconds. Now in today's video, I hope you found this to be an important tool that you can use and install it for a lot of different use cases. So it really means a lot to me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you go and check this project out. And if you guys haven't seen my previous video on this, definitely do so as you'll get more ideas as to what you can actually do with this amazing application so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out my twitter page if you guys haven't already uh, make sure you subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai content so with that thought guys make sure you guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas